Hawaii TV. Aloha aina. I'm Ehu Kahu Cardwell with the Kauai Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse with the Red Hill fuel tanks that have contaminated Oahu's water supply, wait until you hear this. You read that right. The U.S. Navy doesn't want to shut down their leaking fuel tanks at Kapu Kaki or Red Hill, as the public is demanding. They instead want to use those tanks for something else. The U.S. Navy says they will be done with removing all of the jet fuel by June of next year, in 2024. And of course, the U.S. Navy has said they won't use the fuel tanks for any purpose that would contain, in their words, this. Any sane person would say there is no way the U.S. Navy can be trusted on Red Hill again because if they would poison the drinking water of their own people and their families, the U.S. military members, how can they be trusted with this? The shutdown Red Hill Coalition is standing up to the U.S. Navy now and saying no way. No way to using the Red Hill tanks for anything, period. With the U.S. Navy's track record of safety at Red Hill, the risk is way too great for another disaster. The shut down Red Hill Coalition has a petition that demands the Red Hill storage facility not be used for anything else and instead be shut down permanently, and they need your signature on it. Go to this link and sign it, and then have everyone in your Ohana sign it and tell your neighbors and friends. Here's your chance to tell the U.S. Navy, tanks, but no tanks. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Hawaii Broadcasting